Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video I will show you how I set up Manjaro for gaming. I have a fresh install of Manjaro Cinnamon here and pre order this video I only installed the updates and OBS. So let's start. The first step to install some programs but before we do that we need to enable AUR because some of the applications are not in the official repo. To do that go to preferences on the AUR menu, enable AUR support and also I like to toggle check for updates. You press close and you're good to go. So now AUR is sorted let's install some applications. I will leave a list of all the programs and what they do but in a nutshell we need Steam, Lutris and Game Mode. Next step after the installation to enable Proton in Steam and tweak a bit Lutris. To enable Proton in Steam, go to the settings, Steam Play and just tick enable Steam Play for all other titles and you will see a drop down menu and just select the top one, that's the latest Proton and press OK and after that you have to just restart Steam. If you want to install a custom Proton version, I made a video about that recently, link is in the top right corner. Also I like to add the following launch option to every game which is is over here. So this one enables Mango Hut game mode and the ACO shader complier. So just add this to the selected games properties set launch option and copy and paste there. Press OK and you're good to go. Next one is Lutris where I like to set up some global stuff. Open up Lutris, go to preferences, system options, toggle this to show the advanced options and here I like to disable the desktop effects. If you have an AMD card enable ACO shader complier, also enable feral game mode. And here at the variables I like to add two variables, the Mongo and the Mongo had 32 bit. So to do that, just write Mongo hat and the value will be 1. We add another one which is Mongo hat 32 and the value 1. Save and you're good to go. If you want to enable F-Sync, you just have to right click on the games icon and select F-Sync under the games runner options. Next one is Mongo HUD. I use Go Overlay to customize it. In Go Overlay, I like to enable the global options. It will take effects after the restart. And here, I just use my hardware names. So I have a RX 5700 3300X. I like to have the load, the VRAM, the temperature on CPU also the average load temperature, load by core, the RAM usage, the frame time and the engine version. And as you can see here, you can put it in, in the left, right, bottom or top corner. I just simply press save and you can see how it looks if you press run. As you can see here, shows everything what we toggled here and you can close this window. And you can select the font size as well usually in my videos I use 38 press save again and that's what you see in every video what I post on my youtube channel I also install core control I use core control to set my fan speed core control is like watman on windows so if you go to global profile you have your gpu there you can see the temperature the usage the fan speed so usually I use the ventilation I put it on fixed and I set this to 31 percent that's perfect for my gpu but you don't have full access so when you go to advanced you can see you can select few options but to have full access to your GPU to set voltage for example you have to do the following I show you here if you go to the core control GitLab page here you can see what to do so we have to add this line to the bootloader configuration and after reboot to do that go to the etc default and open up the group config file which is etc default and the grab config file. So here we need this line. So just copy this part and just paste it after this one. You can save it. So after we save the file, we just have to update the grub, which is also pretty easy. Just open up your terminal and just type in sudo update group. Enter your password and it will do it for you. It just takes a second. Yeah, you can see it's done. So after the restart, you will have full control over our GPU. The next one I like to do is tuning pulse audio. I open up the Arch wiki page where you can see how to do it, but I show you here as well. I like to enable a read trump priority negative nice level and also using a higher quality remix for better sound. So to do this, go to the file system, etc also, search for pulse audio so the pulse folder when you are there open a daemon config file so over here as you can see in the arch wiki we need to find five lines which is pretty easy if you scroll down here just uncomment the following lines 
this one and that one and we need to find the resample method which will be here so just uncomment that make this 10 save and after a restart this will take effect so the last two steps are improve the system responsiveness and install a newer kernel and we are almost done so let's start with the responsiveness i also have the arch wiki page we're going to change the swappiness value okay we have the folder here and this one is empty but we just simply create a new document an empty one and we name it to this one we just copy this line I like to use 10 as well, the default value is 60. Just copy and paste there, save it and you're good to go. So as I said, the last option is to install newer kernel. So if you just search for Manjaro settings, I think, yes, yeah, setting manager, and you can see there is a kernel option. So just double click the kernel version and we are running 5.7.17 so i like to install a newer kernel not the latest one which is a release candidate i like to use one below that so just simply press install yes there enter your password and this will download and install the kernel for us after the kernel installation is done just restart your machine and we are good to go if you have any question please leave a comment down below thank you for watching and see you in the next one